Hey everybody, this is Mallory Jacob Pacheco from InquiryGuy.com Best known as InquiryGuy and thank you for watching this video This video will be a Sony Vegas tutorial and in this Sony Vegas tutorial I'm gonna go over how to improve the video quality of your videos and how to give your video the cinematic look and feel So first you're gonna need Sony Vegas of course You can download at least a 30 day, 30 day trial of it for free off of their website All links will be in the video description below this video so just click the link in the video description and I can download it for free download it for free. So once you have Sony Vegas, open it up. And then now just before before doing anything or before importing your media, go to file and then go to properties and then choose change the template and choose HDV seven hundred twenty to twenty five P one hundred one thousand two hundred and eighty by seven hundred twenty pixels, twenty five frames per second. Now there are a lot of them, don't get don't get confused there are a lot of them just choose the one that says 25 frames per second or 25.00 fps so choose that and then change the rendering quality to best and go to the audio tab and then change the stretch quality to best and then go back to the video tab and you can also choose to start all new projects with these settings which i'm gonna do and then click on ok now with that taking out of the way Import your media now. Go to file, then go to import and import your media or your video. Now I already have my video in the project media here. So just once you have your video here, just hold, click and hold it, and then drag it here to the timeline. And then I'm I'm gonna delete the audio since I don't need it. Okay, so here's the video. As you can see, the color is really dead, and the camera is a little shaky. And if we shoot this. And if you render this in 25 frames per second, it will slow it a little, so it will give you a cinematic look and feel. And also guys, just if only your camera supports this, you can choose to shoot it in 25 frames per second. You can choose to shoot your video in 25, per, 25 frames per second. Okay, or 24 frames per second, I should say. This is only if your camera supports this. You can shoot it in 24 frames per second and it gives you it will give you a, little, a more awesome effect. But if your camera doesn't support it, it's okay cuz you're going to do all the editing here in Sony Vegas. So and also if your camera if your camera is in not in widescreen if if the aspect ratio is in a different aspect ratio, you can you can always Go right click on your video and then go to video event panel crop and then click the slider and then choose 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio and it will and it will and it will make it widescreen and to give it some to give it a more a more cinematic look and feel you can choose 1.85 by 1 academic academy aspect ratio and then click exit what you've done with that taken out of the way let's start editing so go to your video effects tab. The video effects tab might be here, but in some weird reasons, I don't know why my video effects is here. So just go to your video effects tab. Your video effects properties will look like this with a lot of settings and options here. Just drag the slider all the way down and then go to saturation adjust. And then add boost midtones to your video by clicking clicking it and then hold it then drag it to your video like that and then you will see this this pop up box or window will pop up so just change the amount slider slide it all the way up and then slide the center all the way down and then the spread all the way up and then as you can see you will really see the difference it's like night and day as you can see the color is now awesome but we're not yet done we're gonna add some more effects so drag the slider all the way up and then look for color corrector okay there are two color correctors there are color corrector and color corrector secondary choose color corrector secondary go to that one and then add computer rgb to studio rgb drag it to your video hold it click and hold it drag it to your video and then just play around the the rotate hue just put it all the way up and then just play around all the settings left the saturation the gamma the gain and the offset just play around these and see for yourself what setting that you're comfortable with once done once you're done changing all the settings that you want 
close it and then go to the first color corrector i've said that there are two color correctors so click that or go to that color corrector option and then add red midtones to it okay if you want to give it a cinematic look and feel give it a warm red red midtone okay there are three circles here color circles this this is basically a three-way color corrector to just change the settings the low the mid and the high to whatever you want to whatever you're comfortable with okay okay once doing all the changes you want once you're done doing the changes that you want just exit it and then scroll all the way down and then if your camera is a little if the quality of your video is not so good you can also sharpen it by going to sharpen and then add reset to none and then drag it to your timeline or to your video and then just play around with this, sli with this slider and choose whatever you want or whatever setting or option or amount that you're comfortable with once done doing all the changes that you want like exit it and then lastly add a soft contrast to it go to soft contrast menu here and then there are three soft contrast here it's up to you what you want to use there are three here there's warm vignette heavy contrast soft moderate contrast i personally usually i usually use soft moderate contrast for my videos so let's see as you can see it gives you this awesome effect it likes it gives you some shadows and highlights to it you can also choose heavy contrast that's just look for whatever you want but obviously heavy contrast does not look so good you can also choose to add a warm vignette like it had it adds this this feather circle feather to your to the edges or to the corners of your video but i don't want that i'm just gonna choose to use soft moderate contrast and then you're done that's basically it on how to on how to improve the visual the visual quality of your videos and how to give it the cinematic look and feel now so just make all the changes that you want just edit it add the transitions that you want for example you want to add a transition here so just split it go to that part where you want to split it and then click s or hit s on the keyboard and then it will split as you can see now you can add the cross fade that you want so it will look awesome it will look like this when you add cross fade it will look like this and then you can also add transitions to it okay and then it will look like this gives you this awesome effect now so just do all this editing that you want edit your video do add the effects that you want now after 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 doing all the editing that you want that you want to put in your video the effects what's now what's left is now actually rendering the video and and saving it as a playable or a media file wherein you can upload to youtube or whatever social network you're in so most of the most people don't know how to render your video you don't know how to render a video in Sony Vegas and the common error here is going to file and then saving it as now saving it as is only saving it as a project file and only that will only work for Sony Vegas now to save it as a as a media file as a playable file for example Windows media video or AVI or whatever you want go to file then go to render as okay then just save the file type as WMV that's the smallest compression type that it can give you and the template go to scroll and click the scroll bar and then go to scroll bar not scroll bar drop down there sorry about that so just choose number 5 here 5 mega, megabytes per second HD 720 to 25p video choose that option and then make sure that no other box here is checked other than save project markers in media file actually you can uncheck it that's not really important but in some for some reasons i want it checked 
So it's up to you. And then now, put just put in your file name. Give it a name for your video. So I'm just gonna type in video test dot wmv. Now, after giving it your name, the settings, and the template, so then just save it. Click on save. Now, rendering usually takes a lot of time. If you're, it, it really depends on your video length, the length of the video, and the effects that you've added to it. it. Really depends actually on your video, how long your video is, and how many effects that you've added, and it it could take more, it could take more longer rendering if it has audio on it. So just all you need is patience and wait for it to finish rendering. And then when it's finished rendering, you can now watch your video, send it to your friends, upload it to YouTube or to Facebook or whatever social network that you're in or you want. So I'm just gonna skip the video when it's done rendering. Okay, rendering is now complete and it take an hour for, for it to render. Okay, so just go to your browse for the media file or where you have saved it so I've saved it on my desktop so here's the file it's 118 megabytes okay so let's watch it and see what happens so as you can see it gives you that cinematic look and feel to your video and it then the the quality improved a lot the quality has been improved a lot and as you can see the color is now awesome in the previous video the color is dead and the camera is a little shaky but in this video it slows down your video a little so that's basically how to do it how to improve the visual quality of your videos using Sony Vegas and how to give it the cinematic look and feel and also sorry for this video being long sorry about that okay but anyways it's worth worth watching or worth waiting okay that's basically it on how to improve the visual quality of your videos how to give it a cinematic look and feel and yeah that's basically it for this video thank you for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe if you if you like the video be sure to to thumbs up the video and subscribe for more great videos like this and subscribe and yeah before leaving this page don't forget to drop down a comment and yeah thanks for watching please visit my website at inquireguide.com follow me on twitter at inquireguypro and also check out my blog for earlier updates at www.inquireguide.info all links will be in the description below this video and yeah thank you for watching this video please comment like subscribe and yeah see you next time bye